So let's start with gloves. First thing you should have is some gloves for your hand for your own protection. One of the mistakes with the gloves is that many people try to breathe into them in order to open them up. You should not do that because the air that you exhale is saturated with water and therefore it makes actually makes it much more difficult to put the gloves on. What you can do is you can put a little bit of air into them and then just squeeze them or just shake them. And then it's much, much easier to put them on. The next piece out of your kit for lactate testing we should be talking about is lung sets. Most people use these automatic security lung sets. Those are great in terms of they're very secure. There's pretty much foolproof how to use them. The only downside is that those lung sets have been developed primarily with glucose testing in mind for people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. And the difference here is that for this use case, you normally only need one drop of blood for one single sample. The difference to what you are doing in exercise testing is you need several lactate samples throughout a whole exercise performance testing. And so the hole, so to speak, the opening in the skin that these automatic lung sets are causing is relatively small and they also have a very small needle because they can be used on the finger. So this is more for one-time use. If you use those for lactate testing in exercise physiology, you will likely end up with a problem that you need to prick your athlete or client several times, which is really uncomfortable and disturbs the workflow. The better choice is to use these manual, one-time non-automated lung sets because those make bigger openings and therefore you just need to prick your client or athlete normally once for the whole testing.